in the Western world, we replace instead of repair. We stock replacement parts while the rest of the world uses donor parts. It's a completely different mindset. This ingenuity from the Philippines will be with us forever. Everything and anything is possible in the Philippines. Next, we're gonna go buy an adapter. It's just fun. It's like wonderful. Pay we pay tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. You bring this tomorrow. Okay. Your things. Okay. Salamat. <laughs> I'm Ben. That's Ashley. Together, we did the unimaginable. We sold everything and then set off on a mission to sail around the world. Civilization. See you later. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Twenty-eight countries later, and over 25,000 nautical miles, we are only halfway around the world. I have no idea what's going to happen. Subscribe to follow the adventure as we finish this lap. That's 10,000. Whoa. How much is that? <laughs> $10,000. One of the great things about the Philippines is that you feel rich until you go to pay for something. Ooh. Where else do you get a hold of the thousand dollar bill? Actually, there's probably a few places, but anyway, it's cool when you first pull it out of the bank machine and then you go and pay for something and realize it's only 20 bucks. What do we gotta do today? Spend money on... Your toast is burning. No, why are you holding the camera that way? Right. You know, I've always wanted to do this with thousand dollar bills. <laughs> oh shit, the stove's on. You're a dork. <laughs> The shitty part about doing that, you have to then pick it up. <laughs> but we're checked out. Customs, immigration, check, check, check. And we still have to get beer. But it's 10 to 7, we're opening the store up. The, the road here opens at 7. I got my list in my hand and the camera, and we're ready to go. I'm sweating. I'm done with this sweating. But I'm trying to figure out how many cases of beer I should buy. One or two for six months. I don't drink much beer. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> 10? <laughs> Let's see. Beer is cheap here, so I might stock up. It's probably a good idea. I think he should buy at least 10, but the weight gets to be a problem, so we'll see. Okay, one of the things we have to do is get out all of our jerry cans before we uh, head offshore down to Indonesia. And the jerry cans, we have a lot of them, but they're all in there, which is actually really, really deep. This morning's mission is going to be to climb in there and get them out. <laughs> Wow, it is so hot again today. Incredible. It's time to get out of here. When we left Panama, we provisioned for the apocalypse, and uh, I feel like we've done a bit of that here. Turns out, People eat everywhere. All around the world, people eat food, and they drink booze, and they eat cheese, and eat vegetables. What's the problem with northern part Indo, Ben? Oh, uh, there's not much booze in Indo, because it's, it's Muslim. So, you might need to deal with that. I always compare the price of a country by the cost of the beer. So beer here works out to be 30 to 50 pesos, which works out to just under a dollar US. Why don't I check that? It's 7.50 for a case and you get 24 beer in a case. It's 31.25. It's like less than 50 cents. That's pretty good. Yeah, she's been drinking a lot. I'm cutting back, I promise. <laughs> How many tanks do you think we need? Two tanks, uh, standard tanks, uh, two tanks. Absolutely everything is possible in the Philippines, whether you're trying to get something fixed or filled. It's just always, yeah, no problem. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. 
Yeah, we can fix that, we can weld that, we can fill that, we can make an adapter for that. Everything is possible. Probably one of the best things about the building. How much is this? 1,300? Oh, actually, I think I'm very excited. I have a slight addiction. Where the heck are we at? We're at Sugeko, 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 Sugeko? I don't know how to say it. But we're at this uh, gas plant in the Philippines and they do all the gases here. They, they produce gas. Or the one that thing that they're going to do for me is they're going to refill my CO2 tank. And I don't, I drink water, fizzy water instead of alcohol a lot and it keeps it a lot healthier. But it's a real treat and I haven't had this in a long time and I'm so excited. It's been over a year probably. Couldn't get them filled in New Zealand. Everything and anything is possible in the Philippines. Next we're gonna go buy an adapter. It's just fun. It's like wonderful. I can't believe this is all working out, man. We're going to the machine shop next to get an adapter made. They're gonna just fill them for us. It's been like we couldn't get them filled anywhere. I think in Vanuatu they maybe could have filled them, but I've been through an awful lot of countries where they couldn't fill this. Um, we bought the tank in New Zealand. They couldn't refill the soda streams there. Here they can do anything. I left the US with eight of these things, eight or nine. And uh, they lasted me to uh, about French Polynesia. So about two years. It was really good. I was very careful with it though. But now it can be a little bit more frivolous. <laughs> I think that's possible. The other thing that happens in uh, a lot of these marinas is they have ropes that drop down so other boats can come in and we put out a side tie that was a floating line which is not good see this one floats it's not good so we're changing it for the the old main sheet which is uh not as floaty but i didn't want to pull the dirty old one straight up onto the boat so i'd made them do it this way <laughs> uh oh stop <laughs> actually get on top of this i know right this is disaster actually i was almost there actually <laughs> Don't panic. Failure Don't in the panic. rope. I'm the one who tosses oh all the rope. Oh my god, oh my god. Ben quailed this. Do you want lots of slack on your end? All right, it's go time. Where is he? Bought groceries, we've bought beer, we've bought, I don't know, everything for like the next three months. But check this out, they're just disconnecting our power. That is our electrician under a cardboard piece of paper in the rain, disconnecting our 220 volt. It's pretty cool. As we sail around the world, we constantly research and analyze potential routes. To get out of the Philippines, we essentially had three routes. The first was to sail over the top of Borneo. Relatively safe, albeit tedious route with reports of unlit fishing gear in the water making nighttime travel hazardous. Second option was to sail south through the Sulu and Celebes Sea, two of the most active pirate zones in the world today. Or third, backtrack east into the Pacific Ocean, skirting the Celebes Sea. Aiming for Northeast Indonesia would position us to basically sail through this country from one end to the other. But first, we were eastbound, making our way back into the Pacific Ocean once again. The other thing that we need to do now is pump up this dinghy. Uh, it's a little sad looking, check it out. This front section is like, not doing so well. There's actually a gash right down here, um, right here. And it's not like all the way through, but it's deep enough to deflate this whole front section. Anyways, we've made it work by pumping it up every hour. And we have the glue for Hypalon, but the catalyst has dried up. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to do a solid fix on this here in the Philippines, or Indonesia, or Timor Last, where we're going next. Just get really good at pumping, maybe. And you need some assistance pulling up the main show? Put the camera down. <laughs> this is the biggest stick I've seen yet. Check it out. Now that's a serious stick. We don't want to ram that one. Why are you gonna ram that stick? It is calm today and we are motoring. This is the Hinwatin Passage. I think that's how you say it. We are going out of the Philippines this way. So I'm gonna go straight out here because we're heading south. We're going down to Indonesia as we've been mentioning. Ben's plumbing in the aircon because it looks like we've got giant motors coming up, major motor time. So he's been working on 
for a lot longer than I expected. I feel really bad. We can easily run our portable aircon unit when we're motoring like this. But yeah, it's absolutely no big deal running this portable aircon unit. We don't have a generator, but it runs great off our batteries when we have either full solar or when we're motoring a ton. So we're gonna be motoring tons and it's really hot and it's probably gonna get a bit hotter and more humid as we as we approach the equator. I think there's more convection and more uh, rain and stuff, so you have to close up the boat and it gets super duper hot. Thank you, Ben. How's, how's life? Sweat my balls off so I can get air conditioning plumbed permanently. It's gonna be really nice, don't you think? But I only have a limited number of fittings, so. Yeah, that was a bit of an oversight. This is not to code. Are we gonna be okay? Yeah, we'll be fine till we sink. It's kind of happy, sad to be leaving the Philippines. Happy because it's getting really hot here and the winds died and the kiting's over. And uh, so we're, we're going south, back into the trades in the, the southern oceans, crossing the equator again. So we'll see you down there. We're en route as we head down there. Should be, should be a good, good, probably two, three weeks of travel. Do you think that it's gonna be cooler in Indonesia? Yeah. You think it's gonna be cooler at the equator? I think so. I totally just throw them out the bathroom window when I have my stars. And uh, then I forget to hang them up the other night. It blew halfway down the boat and I got in a bit of trouble. So now I pick my bikinis up or my long sleeve bathing suits too. Someone's grumpy right now. It's hot, let's go. All right, I'm waiting for you. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna put you down. I gotta go grocery shopping, can't deal with the camera. Laters. We're just off the coast of Mindanao here. And there's a couple guys here. It's 2 a.m., my hands are a little bit shaking. Um, guy came at me at like, Full speed, turning off all of my running lights, all of my navigation lights now. We're gonna go dark.